how does Turkey respond uh, to this very challenging influx of refugees and migrants? Uh, as far as the basics of uh, the refugee policy in place today, without going into a lot of specifics at this time, uh, Turkey maintains two separate uh, protection regimes for Syrians and uh, all the other non-Syrian nationalities of so-called individually arriving asylum seekers. Starting with the Syrians, uh, the current number is an estimated uh, 1.5 million. Uh, the arrival started uh, about three and a half years ago, uh, in March 2011, and uh, 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 gradually reached the current massive proportions. Turkey has declared uh, a temporary protection regime uh, for refugees arriving from Syria and committed uh, uh, right from the onset that borders would remain open, uh, no Syrians should be sent back against their will, and basic humanitarian needs of Syrians uh, uh, shall be met. Uh, of the 1.5 million Syrians currently in Turkey, about 220,000 uh, are accommodated in uh, very large scale camps. Uh, 12, 20, 22 camps spread across 10 provinces in the south of the country. A province would be the Turkish counterpart of a departmental town. Uh, so about 220,000 in the camps in the border region and the remainder live in urban centers all around Turkey, including uh, the major urban centers uh, in the west of the country, uh, such as Istanbul. Um, it needs to be acknowledged that Turkey's overall response has been positive, uh, at least initially, as far as uh, opening the borders and very quickly erecting well-supplied uh, large-scale camps in the border region with uh, uh, extremely modest, I should say, financial assistance and solidarity from the international community. Uh, that said, Turkey's response since then uh, has also been very much ad hoc and cumbersome uh, in many key aspects uh, as the influx continued and uh, reached the current proportions. Uh, while the needs of the population in the camps uh, are met up to relatively high standards, uh, Turkey has been very slow to respond to the needs of the growing non-camp uh, population uh, because once the capacity of the camps were no longer sufficient uh, to hold the continuing arrivals, and it was considered uh, financially and administratively undesirable to build more camps, more and more refugees uh, took to urban centers. Uh, and yet, Turkey is yet to come up with a proper registration mechanism for this growing non-camp population to, uh, to document the individuals, but also to screen for vulnerabilities and protection needs. So that remains the main weakness of Turkey's response. Uh, while the government made the commitment to offer Syrians free health care and medication on a positive note, the ongoing shortcomings at registration documentation stage make it difficult for Syrians to access uh, health care services. Finding housing, um, income earning opportunities uh, in livelihoods is extremely difficult. Uh, over the last year, uh, we have seen a gradual introduction of some relatively modest uh, social assistance programs uh, by UNHCR and some international NGOs uh, in some locations around Turkey, but uh, the current supply of either social assistance or legal and administrative information assistance is not even close to uh, addressing the vast needs. And uh, last but not the least, with regards to the current Syrian situa situation, over the last year, we have begun to see some very concerning indications of uh, a growing anti-Syrian sentiment uh, among the public opinion at large, uh, but also in the local communities hosting significant Syrian populations. So it's uh, a crisis situation. I think it, it would be fair to characterize it that uh, uh, Turkey is grappling with, and we are still as the protection community in the process of coming to terms with what it means to be hosting a million and a half refugees from a neighboring country. Uh, with regards to you know, the, the situation in the urban centers, basically it's, it's very tough. And that is the reason why we are now seeing growing 
anti-Syrian sentiment uh, in all those local communities. Uh, what we've seen initially in the uh, provinces and urban centers of the border regions, uh, as Syrians began to arrive, uh, they uh, looked for places to live uh, that pushed up the rents. Uh, as Syrians arrived, and as the government actually committed free health care, uh, they uh, uh, reached out to the state hospitals, uh, as a result of which, of course, the, the quality and quantity of service has declined. As Syrians arrived, and uh, he, their resources uh, became depleted as time passed, passed on, they were desperate for income earning opportunities. Uh, in the absence of a proper registration mechanism, which would perhaps allow uh, them access to the formal labor market, of course they became part of the informal labor market and took jobs uh, uh, prepared to receive uh, one quarter of uh, what is considered a, a proper salary. Uh, so all of this has led to resentment, particularly in smaller local communities in the border region. When it comes to Istanbul, uh, what we are observing is, uh, first of all, we're talking a population which is dispersed all around the city. Istanbul metropolitan area uh, uh, basically uh, has about 20 million inhabitants. Uh, in Istanbul, Amsterdam is divided to 20 plus uh, districts. Uh, there are indications that there are sizable communities pretty much in all districts. They uh, seem to have concentrated in certain areas uh, and become visible. And once they became visible in Istanbul, that suddenly also began to shift the public opinion, the media coverage and so forth. Uh, there is the incident of Syrian beggars on the street, which has become quite visible, all of which, we, it, 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 this is very tangible, has led to a lot of negative uh, perceptions and opinion uh, being voiced. Uh, a lot of uh, racist uh, expression that we come to see, uh, but also some very concrete incidents of uh, violence all across the country. Uh, Access to housing very difficult, access to income earning opportunities uh, very difficult, uh, very insufficient uh, angel uh, 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 assistance, uh, and an agency which has actually identified the gaps, but which is busy transitioning uh, to this brand new framework uh, in the midst of dealing with this massive crisis. So, uh, all of this uh, makes the situation 